vision that God has given him. Hallelujah. And the dedication. Because it takes a dedication. Because you have to be the right. You have to do the gardening. And you have to take care of the real business. Hallelujah. So God has patting seeds open in doors that I thought I would never see. Uh, my name is Pastor uh, Minister Tommy. Uh, 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 we're Faith Center Ministry. Uh, I'll, I'll be 75 pretty soon. So y'all pray for me, okay? Amen. Our pastor's down on Bread Iron. I don't know if you've heard, you heard of him, but uh, we love your pastor here, Noel Jones. Hallelujah. When I first got saved, hallelujah. Everybody said, Come to Noel. Hallelujah. I ran these streets like a crazy man. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Up and down here. And, uh, and, and uh, uh, my brother was an addict too, so we lived on 75th and San Peter, right down the street from Three Mile High School. So I heard the bell when the, when the bell to come to homeroom or whatever it was, homeroom, I could hear from my bedroom. Hallelujah. I would jump out my window and, and, and run to school. But God, one day, I was on, I was on the 60 freeway. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. I was on the 60 freeway. I was coming to a burning in Long Beach to get some heroin. Or either South Park. Those were my two spots at that particular time. Hallelujah. And God called me. That kind of reminded me of that song that they were singing. Hallelujah. He called me many times. Hallelujah. In and out of jail, you would call me in and out of jail. Hallelujah. You know, I see my friends, that I, my homies that I run around with, and I say, man, you ain't dead no time. You know what I mean? I said, God kept me. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. He put me, in a, he put me in a soft place because he was getting me ready for a strong uh, a ministry. Hallelujah. So uh, I was on my way, and I was driving. I had a pocket full of money, a nice car. I'm driving to get some heroin. And I was on methadone for 30 years. I started right there on, on, on Avalon right there. And I think it was... Uh, 49th or whatever in Avalon. And I went to Pomona, is that right? Huh? 42nd place, right there. I was there. I was all been there for 30 years, shooting dope, smoking crack, and on heroin and drinking. Hallelujah, and everything else I could. So I was driving down the freeway and God called me. He said, if you turn your car around, I'll change your life. Hallelujah. And I heard him. Yeah. And I heard him. Had I heard it before, but I never heard it. They call it a moment of clarity. Yeah, yeah. And it touched my life, and I started crying. Yeah. I turned my car, I went and told my family, I said, I'll, I'm not going to use drugs anymore. They heard that numerous times. Over and over and over and over and over again. I'm going to stop you even start a program. Started a program called Bridge back with Roy Evans and all of them back in the day. Uh, and uh, But never work the program, get paid for it, but never could live it. Amen? Amen? So he called me, and that gene went off. Hallelujah. He was just regenerating me. Amen? Amen. <laughs> so I went home, and I told my wife, I said, I'm not going to use it no more. Of course, they didn't believe it. I mean, I told him many times. I said, I had no character. You know, I wasn't stable. You know, uh, they always seen a bad father. I feel you. They never seen, seen me clean before. Hallelujah. So I told her, and I got into the church, and I started coming to church and listening and getting around men that were wiser than me and stronger than me and teach me how to follow direction. A lot of these guys were much younger than me, but God had to teach me to stay. I was always a runner. But I didn't like things. I just split, you know, my family, my job, whatever, my responsibilities or whatever. I would always leave and go back and find an excuse to use drugs. Hallelujah. So God called me. So I, I, said, I went to church, went to Bible study, got around with strong men. They said, Tommy, you don't do this. You have to do that. You have to do it. Sometimes they put too many rules on you in church. You know what I mean? Man, I didn't like a certain thing. So one, one guy, he, was, he, he had just come out of, he was out of the Marines, and he thought he could walk where God had humbled me. You ever been humbled? Yeah. You ever been to that spot, God, that you are humble, God? I'll do this no more. And I, and, and, and I got in church, and I, I took up working in the outreach ministry working downtown in South Park, bringing clothes and food. So then the gene went off again. He said, the gene said, open up a thrift store. That yeah, opened up a thrift store in my life about mm -hmm. opening up a thrift store. He said, open a thrift store. And I started searching. I was in for a morning. He said, this is the spot I want you to minister in. Open the thrift store. I found some found a real estate. He put me at a second chance variety in terms of outreach ministry, mm -hmm. which is in Pomona, has been there 18 years. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Saved, hallelujah, and got help, hallelujah. When their minds were tore up, hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. God taught me to have patience with them. And every time I, I get to 
maybe arguing with him or cursing at him or don't get out of here. My wife tells me about myself. Mm -hmm. She says, you remember the time you took money from your pastor mm -hmm. and you lied and you went and bought some heroin? He loved you. Hallelujah. Yeah. He, 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 he didn't turn his back on yeah. this no more. And I, and, and, and I got into church. I, I took up working in the outreach ministry, working downtown in South Park, bringing clothes and food. So, then the gene went off again. He said, the gene said, open up a thrift store. I have opened up a thrift store in my life by opening up a thrift store. He said, open a thrift store. And I started searching. I was been for a morning. He said, this is the spot I want you to minister in. Opened the thrift store. I found some found a real estate. He put me at, at, at Second Chance Variety and Thrift Store Outreach Ministry, Amen. which is in Pomona, has been there 18 years. Hallelujah. Saved, hallelujah, and got help, hallelujah. When their minds were tore up, hallelujah. Right. God taught me to have patience with them. And every time I, I get to maybe arguing with them or cursing at them or don't get out of here, my wife tells me about myself. Mm -hmm. She says, You remember the time you took money from your pastor mm -hmm. and you lied and you went and bought some heroin? He loved you. Hallelujah. Yeah. He, 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 didn't, he didn't turn his back on you. Out of where we came from, hallelujah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He brought us out of darkness into this marvelous light, hallelujah. I didn't choose him, I didn't want him. But he chose me, and I had to come. I, I had to come. So then he says, okay, now I want you to become a deacon. My grandfather laid hands on me when I was a young kid. I was, I was, I was running with, with the Slossons and all that. But, Bunch of Carter and all of them. I was with Bunch of Carter's brother. Our Lord and all of them. So I was with Bunch of Carter the other day, his brother rather. And uh, I said, No, my mama, we are black family. I'm this and that. He said, No, you're a child of God. God has blessed your life. He laid hands. Sometimes your father don't lay hands on you. The world will are gang member. Or somebody real cool and messy. Like they'll lay hands on you. And then they become your servant father. Amen. So I told him, He said, Okay, you've been doing good. Because they don't let you be a deacon if you're just out there tripping. Chasing women and stuff like that and getting loaded. Uh, there, you, you don't want to put a bad reflection on Christ. Amen? Amen. So he made me a deacon. So I said, okay, it's cool. I'm a deacon now. Now I'm collecting the money. <laughs> but I had a little apprehension collecting the money. But yeah, I'm just two years clean. But now I got to pick up the money. So I told my pastor, I'm going to pick up the money. Because I had, I had enough wisdom to know if something Amen. was missing. Yeah. They're always accused. You know, that's Tommy. Remember, he was a dope man. Remember, he used to steal. They always recognize you how you used to be. Amen. Yeah, yeah. How you, yeah, yeah. Remember that girl who used to walk the streets down here? Or, 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 on Anaheim? Or on Sloss in the Broadway? You remember that, huh? Yeah. Sloss in the Broadway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so uh, I said, no. But, but anyway, I, I, I did the collection. And I humbled myself. God said, he said, I want you to greet people when they come in the door. And I had to do it. So I was greeted. I humbled myself. I couldn't walk by and see a piece of paper. Here's the boy, keep it up. Mm -hmm. I was compelled to do it. God was setting me up for something big. Amen. 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 Then he says, okay, I want you to get into the prison ministry. My wife joined the prison ministry. I said, I don't know if I'm I'm kind of busy right now. And the whole gene went off again. He said, I want you to go into the prison ministry. Hallelujah. That's where we had something in common. That was a hookup right there. And I uh, uh, started going to Chuckle Wall and Ironwood. Going to CIW, going to going to Bannerman Prison. Mm -hmm. I'm going to Linwood Jail over here now. I did that for 15, about 13 years. We did about 13 years in our prison. But don't get trouble. I was a long ways. I was a long ways. So in the summer I couldn't go because of my health reasons, and I had to be wise to it. Amen. Mm -hmm. um, I had many guardians, and I had to do it. So I was free. I couldn't walk by and see a piece of paper. Here's the boy, keep it up. Mm -hmm. I was compelled to do it. God was setting me up for something big. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Then he says, okay, I want you to get into the prison ministry. My wife joined the prison ministry. I said, I don't know if I'm kind of busy right now. And the whole gene went off again. He said, I want you to go into the prison ministry. Hallelujah. That's where we had something in common. That was a hookup right there. And uh, started going to Chuckle Wall and Ironwood. Going to CIW, going to, going to Bannerman Prison. Mm -hmm. I'm going to Linwood Jail over here now. I did that for 15, about 13 years. We did about 13 years in our prison. But don't get trouble. I was a long ways. 
Africa was a long ways. So in the summer, I couldn't go because of my health reasons. And I had to be wise to it, amen. Uh, I had many gardens and water them, amen, because they'd die off, amen. So, so I joined, we joined the prison ministry. So I'm ministering in the prison ministry building. It was so easy. And men were getting saved and giving their hearts to Christ because it wasn't the words I was saying. They knew where I was coming from, and they said I took a stand. And I wasn't a phony. You ever, you ever been out on the streets, and, and the first thing you come in, when I used to go to San Francisco, I said, who the fakes? <laughs> or, or, or wherever you may be hustling, you said, man, who the fakes? And they would tell me, he's a fake. That means he's good at faking. He look like he's something, but he really ain't. He ain't, he ain't what you think, think he is or she is. So uh, 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 God taught me that. So uh, I lost my train of thought. Where was that? Hmm? Okay. But anyways, after doing that, the gene went off again, and my skin started changing. I said, I asked my doctor, I said, why did my skin, why does my skin change? And so I thought it was from methadone. We had on methadone and shooting so much dope, right? He said, well, you got work. But Michael Jackson had. Amen. He said it was already always in you, but at the right time, the gene, at that specific time, the gene went off. He said there's nothing that you did. So I thought I was taking too much drugs or, uh, or methadone too long. He said, no. He said, he said, take off your hat. He took off my hat. He said, look, your hair's going in. I said, yeah. He said, the gene went off. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So we've been doing that to God. Then the gene went off again, sister. Show you how God gives you favor. He may have you moving in circles, but people are just gonna refer you and you're gonna run into people. And, 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 and. so I've got a woman that I brought every back in the 60s. Uh, we started, and she was a counselor at Bridge Baptist. Bridge Baptist is, a, is, is a, a place where women come. It's a recovery center where women bring their children in. And it's 180 women there plus children. God gave me favor because he can trust me around. You know what I'm saying? He ain't gonna trust you around your lambs. With his lambs, brother. Because we are we used to abuse him. You ain't nothing. You this, you ain't got you ain't this enough. You ain't that enough. You ain't this, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. We got we used to do it. Y'all know how we used to do it. So God said, now nah, I can trust you around my lambs. And he said, you're gonna be they're gonna be called a new pops. Pass me. Everybody in my household is blessed. Yeah. My yeah. seed will be saved. Yeah. 
Hallelujah. I walk by faith and not by sight. Have to remember me. I think it's the same time, 58. I'm not 58. He loved me. He said he loved us from our mother's womb. It ain't no mistake. Maybe my mama had me in the back seat of a low ride ship. Listen to one of them oldie but goodies. But he got me here. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we thank God. Amen. I thank God for what he's doing in, in my sister's <clears throat> ministry. Hell, I roll with her to the crackers crack anytime. Hallelujah. She's my partner. She's my friend. Hallelujah. She's, uh, we pray for each other. When I'm weak, she might be strong. When I'm strong, she might be weak. Amen. Amen. We're one big family. Hallelujah. 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 Young people, take it to another level. Take it to another level. We gotta pass the baton to y'all. Yeah. We wanna leave you a great inheritance to know who Jesus is. Yeah. Amen. Because my mom and dad had that, we had money in that house over on 75th. I would have smoked it up. Mm -hmm. Her jewelry, her, her wedding rings, and everything would have would abused. But the greatest inheritance is that your grandkids, my grandkids can't even believe it. I get my testimony. If you did that, I can't even believe the God. So your life is the greatest thing that you can show to another how Jesus was. Amen. To have compassion. Amen. 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 Hallelujah.